Cape York for many four-wheel drivers is a must-see destination. We were at the Cape to drive Volkswagen's reinvented entry-level Amarok, the Core Edition. We landed at the Bauxite mining town Weeper and got straight into the Amaroks at the airport and headed onto the Peninsula Development Road. This wide, corrugated dirt road cuts through gum forests and scrubby savanna grasslands, with large termite mounds dotting the landscape. 112 kilometres later, we arrived at Morton Telegraph Station. Next morning, we set off to tackle the track revered by four-wheel drive enthusiasts, the old telegraph track. To get onto the OTT, as they call it, it's a 42 kilometre drive on corrugated dirt to Bramwell Junction Roadhouse. The OTT begins with drop-offs, gutters and dry creeks. The first water crossing proper was at Dalhunty River, which was a relatively shallow crossing, but then a few crossings later, we were at the hardest of them all, Gunshot Creek. Here, the only access to the water crossing is via bog holes entered from a steep approach and really should only be attempted by modified four-wheel drives. Onwards to Elliott Falls Campgrounds, where you'll find water holes with crystal clear water perfect for taking a dip. Next day, we head back to the old telegraph track to negotiate the deepest water crossings the track offers. The final northern crossing is Nolan's Brook, where we discovered that the trick is to carry momentum to avoid getting stuck on the creek's sandy base. From Nolan's, we drove through the scrub to the Jardine River Ferry, and then from the Jardine, a 74km easy run to the tip via Bamaga. Finally, we arrived at the tip and walked over the rocks to see the continent's northernmost point. An off-road expedition up the Cape York is truly one of Australia's best travel experiences and one that you really should tick off your bucket list.